Hello everyone, welcome to Sangeeta Creates. Today, I will be drawing the Hamsa. The Hamsa is a palm-shaped amulet. It is extremely popular. It is believed to bring in good luck, protection and a whole lot of good things. Here I'm using a template drawn by me. Templates are available online. Feel free to print them out and trace it. I keep a template ready because I draw this a lot. Fold it in half so that you can find out the center. Draw the lines to separate the fingers. I'm using a compass here from the midpoint. I'm, I measured all the way to the end and drew a circle. This circle will hold the eye. The Hamsa typically has an eye. It is believed to ward off the evil eye. It's a very basic eye, nothing too fancy about it. A lotus motif on top. I did not plan this out. I kept drawing whatever came to my mind at the moment, whatever felt right. You can put in a lot of henna elements if that's something you fancy. You can use a pencil on black chart paper. I chose a black chart paper because I love the way it looks. I use jelly a jelly roll pens to color them in. It adds a sense of magic when you color it in. So that's my favorite go-to when it comes to Hamsa hand. Please like, subscribe and leave a comment down below. You can follow me on Sangeeta Creates on Instagram. As you see, I keep adjusting the drawing as I go along. It is not exactly symmetrical, definitely, but I'm eyeballing it so that it is. You don't have to be perfect. So I'm going to repeat what is drawn on the left side over on the other side. Draw the curved curve lines. As you see, it looks a whole lot like henna. And the basic drawing is done. I'm using a Posca pen to outline. It's a Univol Posca. Feel free to do it on white paper. Then you'll only need black pens and color pencils if you wish to add color. I'm using Sakura Moonlight. This by far is my favorite pen ever. Sakura makes amazing pens. It's not sponsored but I just love these pens. Here I'm using the souffle version. Souffle has more pastel range of colors and when you color them in, they're very watery. As they dry, the colors come through. I am drawing or rather coloring in green eyes. You can shade with Sakura Moonlight and souffle you just need a little bit of practice i draw them often hamsa as custom orders or gifts to people it's extremely meditative rough coming up with new color combinations as you see, the inks are very, very juicy. It will take a while to dry. So if you are using them, be aware of that fact. If you slide your hand over it, it will smudge. So allow it to dry. I 
I'm using orange and red here, almost like the rays of the sun. I was mindful about the colors I used because I wanted it to represent something. Now it looks more like sun. Moving on to the lotus. Here I will be blending in two colors, the almost neon hot pink and a darker pink or red. I love playing with different colors. You can stick to one color if you wish. And that's how the finished one looks. On the side, it's a loose representation of the lotus leaves. Yes, it's not green but that's just a loose interpretation of a lotus leaf here I'm using the souffle around the lotus I use the stippling technique which is nothing but dotting use the souffle version of the pen So I used orange and red for the sun, blue for the water, greens, pinks to show nature. I'm using the same stippling technique down below. Once these pens dry, the ink, it'll show up, not to worry. I'm using green here. As I said, it's an abstract and a loose representation of the lotus leaf. The hamsa can be hung either ways, the fingers pointing down or the fingers pointing upward. Using blue and pink. So, like I mentioned, it can be hung. Either way, it's fingers pointing down or up. So when it's up, it is warding off evil. And when it is down, it's bestowing blessings. I wanted to pull the picture together by adding a element of orange up as well. It just balances it out well, in my opinion. Added different dots in variation of warm colors. base or the palm is done. I'm using metallic kurutake metallic brush pens to add a little bit of shimmery goodness. Used green using blue now and gold. A 
again you don't need all these art supplies to draw hamsa this is just my way of drawing it you can use the most basic supplies to draw it if you wish and adding gold details I'm using shades of green to show leaf or nature greenery it's a stylized way of depicting greenery I'm going to repeat it on either side I put the same green in the center using pinks here the tiny details make it so much better please leave a comment below subscribe and like This is slightly longer video than my previous ones because it is such a drawn out process. And I added gold details up there. It's almost coming to an end. And the basic is done. Now just for the finer details. I'm adding the stippling details up so that it matches with the stippling detail at the bottom. Tiny details really pull the picture together. Plus, while laying down the dots, it rela really relaxes you. And that brings us to the complete version, the Hamsa. These are the pens I used. I hope you enjoyed the video. Using a uni ball to find the tail of the finger. Have a good day. A recap of the materials. Bye. Thank you for watching.